Hello everyone. Welcome back to GTA Online with me, Long Clover, Larry and Steel. I'm down at the test track doing a time trial in my brand new Karen Calico GTF. Let me tell you, this car is something else. It may be the best sports car in the game. I'm pretty sure this would beat the Pariah in a straight dash for dash race. I just used this in the bank job, one of the contracts for my mod shop and nothing could touch it. I was flying. It's so much fun to drive. In this video, I'll be showing the full customization and giving you all the information you need to know as you will need to buy this car. Oh, trust me, this is not even an in question. Everyone will be talking about this car for years to come. Let me tell you, the Toyota Celica GT has just arrived. So what are we talking about here? Well, the Calico is based on the Toyota Celica. And let me tell you why I'm so pumped about this. This would be the sixth edition GT4 ST205, a 90s classic. And I love my 90s cars. It was truly a remarkable car in real life. At the time of its production, back in 1994, a wonderful year for pretty much everything that was produced at that time, by the way. It, was the most powerful Celica that had ever been made. This car ruled the Japanese market and it was imported all over the world and everyone loved it. Under the bonnet, there is so much magic there. The 2.0 inline turbocharged engine is where all that good stuff comes from. It's an all wheel drive setup as well. The speed count and acceleration potential for this vehicle is simply off the chart. It's not dissimilar to the Sultan Classic in terms of its genetics, but what makes the real difference is that a double. At its stock level, this would best most of the competition out there in its own class, but once you start beefing up the tuning, it becomes next level for sure. Believe it or not, with a full upgrade, this car can hold its own in a whole other class against most of the stock supercars in the game. How about that? Its handling is unreal. In a straight line or tight curves, it's really immense. I can't believe how well it handles corners at speeds. And again, you can tip your hat to the all wheel drive setup for that as well. There is only one Achilles heel, as far as I can see. It's not as robust as you might want. And when you start smacking it around, you can see that it takes a bit of damage and the engine can't respond. But if you stick those hard fog lights on the front of it, it acts like a like a bar at the front. It's, it's amazing, I really love it. It's very cool, actually. Take it off road and you will see it smile for you as well. I even dragged it up a mountain and it handled it all fine. It's really an all rounder. I went with the sports suspension and the tuner wheels, but you could mess around with this to make it even better off road. As I said, I'll use this in the bank job where you have to rob six Fleeker banks one after another. And from a standing position outside each of the banks, the police had no chance of stopping me. I was getting away no matter what. They couldn't keep up with me either. They just didn't stand a chance. I've got a video of this coming to my channel tomorrow. This DLC is all about the cars, obviously. And these jobs, the contracts, you can do all the messing around with your other vehicles, but you're supposed to be using these cars. You even have to select which one of the cars you want to use at the start of the contract. So it's all about pushing these new cars to their limits and seeing just what they can do. This car is the ultimate getaway vehicle. I'm a pretty good driver, but I'm not really good at races, but in a getaway situation, I can hold my own. 
and this car will give me the edge. I'm looking forward to taking it down to the track and seeing if I can boost my reputation because I've taken some of my other new cars and it's hard to hold your own if you're not really experienced with the racing. So what do you think of this car? Is it worth the money? Are you happy with the way that it looks? What do you think of my modifications? I mean, of course, you can unlock other modifications when you increase your reputation level to a sufficient number, usually about 100, something like that. And it is easy to rank up if you hang around the Los Santos car meet and get involved with these contracts. Now, I know a lot of my crew are just sort of picking up their mod shops now and getting into these initial missions. And I hope that this gives you some insight in where you should be prioritizing your money when it comes to choosing a car. I mean, now I've driven this car and I've modified it. I mean, I'm actually really happy with it. It's definitely my go-to car for this DLC so far. And I haven't modified all of them. I bought all 10 cars. Again, I've got a video on my channel showing all of that. And But this, for me, is the best one that I've driven so far. And there are some very good cars. And I've been saying for a while, as people have been complaining over the last several months, a uh, year or so, that the car, they're not adding enough cars. Rockstar just won't put new decent and upgraded cars in the game now i've been saying for a while they've been working on cars for this summer update and for the next update that we get and i think i was right let me know what you think